Hi, Dr. Ariane from The Movement Paradigm. Today we're going to talk about another way to test your vagus nerve, which is actually testing your gag reflex. This gag reflex is innervated by cranial nerves 9, glossopharyngeal nerve, as well as the vagus nerve. So it is another way to be able to assess your vagal nerve function, amongst other things. So the gag reflex is ultimately an evolutionary reflex that helps to elevate the soft palate. This reflex can be evoked by any type of stimulation to the tonsillar area, to the base of the tongue, or to the posterior wall or the back wall of the pharyngeal area. So anybody that's ever experienced the gag reflex at some point in your life knows exactly what that feels like, whether that was because of a smell or a taste, or if you happen to be experiencing an, a hypersensitive gag reflex. So perhaps you are gagging with things that shouldn't necessarily contribute to that. Maybe a lot of different foods or smells. This could mean that you could also be associated with increased anxiety or issue with vagal nerve function or dysautonomia. So from this evolutionary perspective, the reason we have this gag reflex is actually to prevent us from choking or preventing from any foreign objects to go down our throat. So it's actually a really, really important mechanism mechanism that we have. So we can test for this to be able to see if there's vagal nerve function that might be affected. Now I've done lots of videos on vagus nerve hacks as well as vagus nerve testing and we do want to make sure that we're looking at it from a comprehensive perspective, that we're not just looking at one specific test and one specific branch of the vagus nerve, but we're looking at clinical presentation, what are your complaints, what are the things that you're concerned with in your body, whether it is anxiety, it's digestive issues, it's dizziness and hypertension, there's so many different ways that this could present itself, so we just want to make sure we're looking at all of them. With that said, here's how to test for your gag reflex. So when you're performing the test, you can do this on yourself, but know that there is a chance that you could vomit. So when you're performing this, I would recommend using either a popsicle stick or you can use a, a Q-tip, a longer Q-tip works really well. And essentially you're going to place your, whatever the stimuli is that you're using in the back of the throat. So it could be on the back of the tongue, it could be on the back of the roof of the mouth, the uvula in the middle. And so once you do that, you will notice right away that reflexive mechanism and you're determining is the gag reflex present or not present. I suggest doing this in the mirror so you can also look at the symmetry from right to left. Is there symmetrical elevation of the palate or does it seem like it is asymmetrical? To explain again what you may experience is, is the gag reflex present? Is it symmetrical? Also, is it hyperreactive? And so again, that could be more associated with anxiety, even post-nasal drip, and other symptoms. So first is it's just a very simple test, but it can give us insight into any potential cranial nerve involvement of the sclossopharyngeal nerve as well as the vagus nerve. So please make sure to check out all of my videos on the vagus nerve. I have lots of different exercises to begin to explore to see if they are a benefit to you. It does not mean that every particular exercise will be good for every person. However, I know that you can find one or two that really resonate with your nervous system and can begin to help you really reprogram and re rewire and be able to regulate your nervous system on a regular basis. So if this was helpful, give it a like, give it a share, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement.